Thor Ragnarok and Thor Love and Thunder director Taika Waititi recently talked about the rumor to be coming at us Thor 5 and what he thinks should be one of the goals of the sequel, aka a villain that's more powerful and stronger than Hela. So once again, this comes at us directly from Taika himself. And when asked about the status and direction of a potential Thor 5, he does not confirm it. But he says, you know, what else is there left to do with the character? And if they were to do it, what direction do you have to go in? And that's when he starts talking about how the villain has to be somebody that's way stronger. That's not weaker than Hela. They have to up the game for the God of Thunder. Especially now, seeing what he's gone through and how powerful he is now. So he says that the only logical thing to do is to introduce the most powerful Thor villain just yet. Now, I've seen a lot of speculation online of what he could be teasing or who could be the villain. And it ranges from the most insane to the most unexpected. Except, I guess Thor Love and Thunder was so bad, people literally forgot that it sets up the next villain. Did, did you all forget that they literally set up the villain at the end of that film? You need a reminder? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, here he is. Oh, look at that. There he is. There, there's the villain. Oh, okay. Okay, let me, let me be clear. Clearly not the main villain, but he would be the one that's in like the first act, you know, chasing Thor or whatever for what he did. And then obviously them two have to unite reluctantly probably to take on whoever the main villain is. Whoever that is, we don't care. But we know that they could spin this film as legitimately Thor versus Hercules. Which god is stronger? Which mythology, right? They could do that. Like, that's a very interesting angle. And even if they wanted to make him an entire villain for the film, and then at the end have him sort of take a good guy turn because he hears about Kang and everything, that would honestly work too. So, yeah. Um, should the villain be stronger than Hela? Probably, because by laws of comic book films, villains need to get stronger. Unless you come up with a very strong and personal take that can, well, then reduce that strength like James Gunn did with High Evolutionary after Ego, right? So a very talented director and writers can pull this off. It's just a matter of where do you go and with whom.